3, contact Alpha, possible submarine, 340 at 15. Roger 3. Mike 4, this is 843, possible submarine, contact 34015, investigating. In 1967, 14 Grumman trackers were ordered as anti-submarine aircraft, replacing the ferry gamut. Although slower than the turboprop aircraft it replaced, the piston engine tracker could carry three times the weapon load and had twice the endurance of the gamut. Grumman trackers had an enviable safety record. Only one tracker was lost on operations in the 17 years it served the Royal Australian Navy, although 10 were destroyed in a hangar fire in 1976. In March 1977, 16 replacement trackers were bought from the US Navy. Although second-hand, the replacement aircraft were the later G model, which had improved mission equipment. The tracker was originally designed as an anti-submarine aircraft. She's old, but still one of the best in the business. The tracker's electronics were quite advanced for its time. With its surface search radar, magnetic anomaly detector, and both active and passive sonar boys, the tracker was a potent anti-submarine weapon system and remained in service with the RAN until August 1984, continuing to operate from HMAS Albatross in Nowra after HMAS Melbourne was decommissioned in 1982. The unmistakable sound of the tracker's two radial engines will always be nostalgically remembered by all that have flown the Stoof.